I have found that my ability to find and maintain that calm in amongst the chaos comes down to how I answer two foundational questions. So here's the two questions. The first is, do I know myself deeply and truthfully? The second is, who is in the driver's seat? Myself or my shadow? I want to talk to you about the fact that the initial purpose of these two questions is about you experiencing or being able to experience calm and chaos. And that's a wonderful thing, and it will sustain you as a leader. But there are three other aspects of why these two questions are valuable and what they enable that I want to share with you. The first is around discernment and the need or ability to make judgment calls and to cultivate wisdom. In order to do those things as a leader, you what it requires of you is for you to be operating from that place of deep knowing and operating with yourself in the driver's seat. So if as a leader you want to be discerning, you want to make good judgment calls and you want to be wise, then using these two questions to check where you are and what your response is will help you get to that place as a leader. The second piece I want to talk about is the fact that your ability to read situations and decipher if you are at or approaching an important threshold. A threshold moment could be anything from experiencing menopause, having kids, starting a new relationship, moving, starting a business, leaving an organisation, or starting or ending a business partnership. If you are at or approaching a threshold, then O'Donoghue suggests this. I'm going to read, read his words for you. It is wise in your own life to be able to recognise and acknowledge the key thresholds, to take your time, to feel all the varieties of presence that accrue there, to listen inward with complete attention until you hear the inner voice calling you forward. The time has come to cross. Allowing time and space to experience and process all of those associated emotions, but also to let the new emerge when it is ready, rather than forcing it. That is something that most of us struggle with. There's a few more wise words that O'Donoghue has that are a good place for us to just sit with and reflect. He says, The beauty of nature insists on taking its time. Everything is prepared. Nothing is rushed. The rhythm of emergence is a gradual, slow beat, always inching its way forward. Change remains faithful to itself until the new unfolds in the full confidence of true arrival. Change arrives in nature when time has ripened. The reality is that without consistent practices, and the creation of regular space for reflection, it can be really hard to pinpoint the genesis of our disconnect. And what I mean by that in terms of that genesis of the disconnect and how this idea of honouring and sitting with the thresholds, if that's where you're at, is that I'm giving you these practices so that when you find yourself in a position where you ask the two questions, 
and you're wondering why it is that your answer to question one is no, I don't know myself deeply and truthfully in this moment. Or you're wondering why your answer to the second question is that your shadow is in the driver's seat. These pieces are some of the ways that you can try to identify that disconnect. So our tendency to hustle and push to resolution doesn't work if we are in a threshold moment, which is why it's important to be able to tune in and recognize what is happening and act accordingly. If you are in fact at a threshold moment that requires you to be still and wait for nature and for time to be ripened. <laughs>